So tonight I was supposed to see two movies do a double feature, but I decided to get these Starburst Airs gummies. They suck ass. They made my stomach turn in the wrong way, and it made something else come out really bad. So unfortunately, I only could see tonight. Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Shin Ultraman. So what's this about? Well, you've seen Shin Godzilla, right? The absolutely ridiculous, redonkulous Godzilla movie where everything the government was doing is like on their laptops while towns were getting absolutely demolished. This is the same style of movie, but instead of Godzilla, we have Ultraman. So, did I like this film? It is campy goodness. It's funny. It's ridiculous. It's off the walls. The animation is bad, if you want to put it that way, but it does it in a bad way to pay homage to the old Ultraman TV shows, but it does do some really good effects with, like, uh, hills exploding and towns exploding and some buildings going under, so it's a mix of, like, good CGI and then cheesy CGI, especially, like, with the black hole when they're floating in space and how the stiffness of the movement, it just works, in my opinion. So let's talk about the pauses of the film. So one thing you notice with the pause of this film is the camera angles. And what do I mean by that? So there'll be a just a camera like on the bottom of a chair looking up. And the person will be like at the 2 o'clock on the screen. And that's the only thing talking while there's like a chair, computer, table in the background. Or it's more in the foreground and the actor's in the background. And they'll do that. And they'll just do random cuts when like this actor's going to talk. So we're going to do an up angle. If this actor's going to talk, we're going to do a side angle. If this actor talks, we're going to do it. Another upside, upside down angle. And it's just absolutely fun, unique, and different. And it is bonkers. The editing and the camera movements and the camera angles work in this film. I think it's great. It's fun. It's unique. And it's different. There's also camera angles where it's like almost like a laptop screen where it's like, and that person's talking, and that person's talking, and we're going to show them. So I think it's fun, unique, and different. And I said that plenty of times. I'm going to say it again. The acting works really well. I think the dialogue is pretty hysterical. There was an interview in the beginning, I think, with the director, how he was saying, like, saying, like, he watched it in Japan, and the Japanese people are more shy, so they're just in the screen, like, watching the movie being quiet. But then when he was in America, where there's an America uh, premiere, he said the audience was going crazy, and he actually enjoyed that, because it was like, yeah, people are going bonkers for this movie, and that's what you kind of should do in this movie. It's cheesy, can't be fun, it knows what it's going to do. Okay, so let's talk about the action set pieces. I think they're pretty fun, unique different i'm gonna say fun unique different throughout this whole freaking review so if you're mad about it i'm sorry it's gonna happen but with this you could totally tell it was paying homage to the old ultraman tv shows and what i mean by that is just the movements are stiff and the animation you could call it lawnmower man 5.0 where it's not as bad as lawnmower man but it's kind of like you know on that level but it's cheesy and it's absolutely bonkers Especially with this black hole scene, it's absolutely just, it's fun to watch. And then the monsters at the very beginning are really cool character designs, and it's really fun to watch them battle. When we want to talk about some negatives, sure, let's talk about some negatives. I think <clears throat> there's kind of two negatives. I think the story kind of falters a little bit and gets a little bit convoluted because we're going to, like, the monsters, and kaiju, sorry, and then we're going to, like, this alien life form, and then we're going to another alien life form. So it's very different. Some of them just kind of disappear and they kind of get forgotten about. So you're like, hey, what happened to that life form? What happened to that kaiju? Like, are we just going to ignore where they went? And we kind of do in that scene. And then there's a random one, like a big tall lady one. And you're like, what are we doing? It is funny. Like I said, it is funny. But it did, some, some of it goes places. And you're just like, whoa, should we actually go there? Is this the right thing to do? I'm psychedelic, man. What's actually happening, bro? And there's elements like that, especially this at the very end where it's like, we were paint circles, you're just like, and he's floating in a circle, and he's like, you like the humans. It's like, what are we doing? Now, say the final negative is kind of like with Shin Godzilla, how it's just kind of weird and awkward humor, and just, just an awkwardness to the film, and it's not for everyone. It's absolutely not for everyone. I think I prefer Ultraman more than Godzilla, because the first time watching the Shin Godzilla, I was like, what am I watching? I don't understand what it was trying to do. But then when watching Shin Ultraman, it kind of clicked. I was like, ah, so that's what this whole series is about. So I have a feeling that if you've seen Shin Godzilla, you know what you're getting to for Ultraman. But if you have not seen 
Shin Godzilla, but you're seeing Shin Ultraman, you might be really confused about why the characters are like what they're doing. Like, what what's the story? And why is everything looking like it is? So it might just confuse the audience if you don't know what you're getting yourself into. But overall, Shin Ultraman is a fun time at the movies. I had a blast. It was a quick two hours. It was funny, unique, different, quirky, campy, and it knew exactly what it was trying to be. So Shin Ultraman will receive a four and a half out of five of futons, which equals at 90%. See the critics and user scores gave this one. So you have critics a 100% with 20 of them. Audience score at 84% with over 100 with no critic consensus. I have to agree with that. Like, you know what you're getting yourself into. And I think that's what the thing is. Know what you're getting yourself into. 190, 84. Chase out with the blue futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Another thing is blue futon topia. You blue Tony. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. And seriously, seriously, if you see Starburst Airs, gummies it says soft and squishy so i was thinking oh yeah i love starburst no because i was supposed to see this movie in an indian movie uh varsar or v-a-r-i-s-u varisu i couldn't watch it the bathroom forced me to miss my second showing i got so many movies to watch this weekend stay with me i promise we'll be there uh, we'll do this together <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,